Hi, right, boys. Oh, hold on a second. Yes. Aren't you Derek Lyons? You were an octopusy, right? That's correct, yes. Would you have a moment to talk with us about Bond? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Great. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come along. Okay, thank you. Come on. I got in the business when I was a young boy, when I was uh, 18 actually, and my father knew a lot of the stuntmen. Yeah. And a lot of the people in, this, in, the, uh, in the Bond films, like uh, Nosher and Denny Powell, obviously yeah. Gary Powell being one of the sons. And so I got in that way really. I had a bit of talent, which is great, but I ended up working on four Bond movies, you know, which, which included uh, View to a Kill, Octopussy, Living Daylights, where I was an MI6 agent, and then Goldeneye, great. as a casino guest, uh, which was wonderful to, you know, to be involved with. But uh, the Bond movies, they tend to be like a family unit, you know. Yeah. Everyone knows each other, you have the same group of uh, um, assistant directors like Terry Madden and uh, Terry, Terry Bamba. Um, and it's just, and obviously Barbara being around, you know, Barbara Broccoli. So you have a nice group of people and it's always a very friendly atmosphere on yeah. the Bond films, you know. Um, uh, obviously I worked with Roger Moore, uh, Timothy Dalton, I didn't work on, uh, with him on that movie, on uh, Living Daylights. But I, I worked with um, a few others, you know, like, uh, well, I worked with Sean Connery, but not obviously uh, <laughs> in any of his films, that was long before my time. But yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, great to be in a part of those kind of movies, because I'm a big fan of the Bond movies anyway. Really. Uh, well, Living Daylights, uh, I was called um, by one of the assistant directors, uh, they wanted me to be one of the MI6 agents who take yes. uh, uh, the general, uh, I forget his character name, but Jerome Crabbe, yeah. a Dutch actor, out of the vessel, uh, the, the scene where you know, Q get, gets us to bring, take him out and I take him to the jump jet. Yeah. So we were involved with that scene, which was uh, really fantastic. And, um, yeah. and uh, they had to cut my hair a certain way because they wanted me to look like this other guy they used in um, Eastern Europe, whatever, okay. who was actually in the jump jet scene because I wasn't involved with that particular scene. And, um, it was really great to like have a chat with um, Desmond Llewellyn. Yeah. You know, he was a wonderful man. You know, great stories about his uh, time in the film business, etc. Mm -hmm. um, but I was on that for about a week. Yeah. Um, but I didn't see um, uh, Timothy Dalton at all mm. during that. But uh, I, I love working on Living Daylights. You know, yeah. it seems brilliant. And, and after that, there was, a, there was a long break in Bond. But, you, but they brought you back for Goldeneye. You turned for Goldeneye. Yeah, yeah. Well, I got a call when they, they wanted me, because they always remember people, like Barbara, you know, she's got great yeah. memory, she remembers people. Yeah. So she would phone the agent and say, look, you know, can we get these guys, and it's Derek Lyons, is he available? So they called me, and there I go to Leavesden uh, Studio, which they used uh, for the Bond at that time. Yeah. And there I'm on set with Pierce Brosnan. Great. And Pierce is such a great guy, you know, because yeah. uh, we actually worked together uh, in, the, in the 80s, early 80s, I think 1980 actually, yeah. when he was a supporting artist oh, with right. me yeah. in the same scene. He was in a scene with uh, Elizabeth Taylor mm -hmm. and I was in the other scene with, um, uh, with uh, Rock Hudson and I did a kind of scene with Rock and mm. uh, the Queen's Guard scene. And, uh, so, was, uh, so then I worked on two other films with uh, Remington Steele with him and mm. um, Holcroft Covenant. And then eventually there he is, and I went up to him and I said, I'm really sorry to your death of your beautiful wife, and he was, he said, oh, that's very kind of you, I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I said that this is the best, this is the right time for you to do the Bond film. Mm. I said, before when you offered it on Remington Steel, it wasn't the right time. Yeah. You know, you, you were a bit more bulky now than you were. Yeah. And uh, I think, and he, and he really appreciated that, you know. I think he was a bit nervous about it, but... Um, but he's, he's a really wonderful man. I really would say that because uh, not being part Irish myself, but he really is uh, a genuinely kind man. <clears throat> and I think it was a great bond. Yeah, definitely. Uh, bond the story, like the, sto yeah. the storylines of the other one were a bit kind of strange, but yeah. I think he could have evolved and you know to have done at least another f another one. He yeah. did four, didn't he? I think four. Yeah. But um, yeah, Pierce was such such a he was such a great guy, you know. So like I'm talking about his death, but he's not dead, is he? So <laughs> Pierce, you know. Uh, hmm. What what is your favourite Bond actor? Is it Pierce or would you say uh, Connery? Well, Moore? Connery obviously is the is the is the penultimate is the is the one, isn't he? You know, yeah, sure. uh, Roger is a bit you know good for the seventies, a bit yeah. comical, yeah. like a clown really, as he played in Octopussy in that scene, which I was involved with. Um, but I don't know. Um, I kind of like George uh, Lazenby. I was told you'd do a decent impression of Sean Connery. Oh, so yes, we could have Sean yes. Connery right now. Yes, uh, yes, I'm Sean Connery. It's nice to see you. Uh, uh, myself, Mitchell, in the Bahamas. Uh, how are you, Roger? <laughs> what an amazing fact, because I can do a bit of a decent Roger. 
Oh, yeah, wow. That sounds pretty good, oh. yes. He was a background artist, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, no. I'm, he was. I'm fine today, so... Yes, uh, he was. It was fun. Uh, a Beauty to Kill. Mm. Uh, so I watched some four bomb movies, and uh, Beauty to Kill was really good to work on. We actually worked at uh, the 007 stage at Pinewood Studios, the, where they be, did the big tank, you know, water yeah. tank, uh, where they did Spy Love Me. They put mm. the submarines in there. It's amazing. Yeah. So they built this uh, big uh, tank, which is Zoran's kind of yeah. mine, you know. And um, I remember they they got was myself and three other guys with a stunt team. You mm. know, I'm not a stunt man, but I worked with stunt team quite a few times. And then we had to wear a wetsuit beneath our boiler suit. Mm. And uh, the water was kind of warm, but it had like, wood and bits of nails, and it was quite, you know, you could have got hurt here. Yeah, sure. Big waterfall coming down. And I did a little fall from the side of this, uh, of the, on the, one of the rocks, and I had to like, just fall in on my face, which I kind of did, you know, my head was <laughs> floating as <laughs> a dead body for most of the film, yeah. uh, and I think on my back as well, possibly. But I was with a sun team, it was getting really cold, you know, and uh, I said to Nosha, pal, Denny's brother, and Denny was there as well, I'm sure. I said, what do you, you know, I'm cold. He said, what you do, Derek, is you pee. No So you, you have to pee in your suit, yeah, really? and then, then the, the, it warms everything up, yeah. That's what most <laughs> divers do, they pee in their suit, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we were on that for about a week, and um, we had a really good time on that. Um, and obviously, at the end of the day, we had to get a shower and yeah, stuff. Sure. But it was quite a tiring to be in there all those hours. You know, you, everything shrivels up. Yeah, Every, yeah, everything yeah, shrivels up. You know, hello. You can imagine, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it was great. You know, I like working with the stunt men. You know, I always really had a great admiration for stunt people. And obviously, you know, um, uh, Nosha's um, son, late, 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 late Nosha Powell now, Gary Powell, you know, is, is the stunt coordinator on the Bond films. And he's, I think he's one of the best now. Yeah. I know Greg did, I think Greg Powell is the stunt coordinator as well. He's the older brother. But I worked with uh, Gary when we were basically supporting artists. Mm. You know, I don't use the word extra because we were supporting artists, you know, and yeah. that's what, it's much nicer to say that. <coughs> we were, and also Wayne, Wayne Michaels, you know, who did mm. the jump in uh, GoldenEye. Yeah. He's married to Tracy Eden. and. Uh, so they'll work with me as background artist for central casting, you know, whatever. And uh, but most of us had equity cards, and we, yeah. you know, it's a way of getting into the business. Yeah. But uh, I'm so pleased that Gary's done well, and he's he's kept very humble in his position, you know. And uh, yeah, I like hopefully see him. We we we're meant to meet a few times, but we haven't yet. But working in the Bond films uh, was, um, you know, a highlight of my of my life really, because you know everyone. You want to be Bond, don't you? Everyone yeah. wants to be, you have this imagination yeah. of being James Bond. Yeah. And when I tell people, hey, I worked on four Bond movies. I mean, I'm not really seen in uh, Casino, uh, sorry, in um, uh, GoldenEye. Mm. But in fact, I pass when Frank, uh, what's the ensign? Yeah, Frank Jansen, yeah. Uh, she's there and Pierce is there and he goes, oh, man, he's Bond, James Bond. Yeah. You know? I actually walk pass on that exact line, on that line where he says I'm Bond James, but I'm there in the centre of frame. Wow. But it's so fast as I walk through that you won't catch me in that, that shot. My favourite uh, director of the Bond, which I never worked on, was mm. Peter Hunt. Yeah. And Pete was a very good friend of mine and mm. Peter told me a lot about, you know, Jules Lazenby. Yeah. He actually said, because um, <clears throat> I, I was talking to him about it on Pi at, uh, I was standing in a movie called Last Days of Pompeii. Mm. He said, oh Derek, you know, George was such a silly boy. He could have had another bond. He could have done Diamonds Are Forever easy. And uh, I would mentor, he was going to mentor him a bit. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's a shame. I think George regrets that. I, you can tell. I mean, you can tell he regrets that. Um, it's stupid. He's gone too, too much into the marijuana and the hippie thing at the time, which, because Easy Rider was around, you know. But Pete Hunt was great. And he actually, funny enough, because he liked me a lot, he thought I looked like Oscar Werner. Mm -hmm. You know, the German actor, the yeah. very famous actor. He thought yeah. I looked a bit like that when I was younger. Okay. <clears throat> and he, <coughs> he was inviting me to go and live with him and his friend, I'm saying anymore, in Bel Air. And he was going to help my career. I mean, no funny stuff, just as a friend, you know. Mm. So I could have done, I could have, uh, unfortunately, I was involved with a woman at the time and I couldn't really do it, get out, get there. Mm. But I think Peter, you know, he uh, was the man who cut the bonds the way you see the bonds cut, the editing process. Yeah. He cut them from the very first one right the way through. Yeah. And I think his story told me that he said to Eon, if I don't, you let me direct a movie after, um, on, an, uh, on You Only Live Twice after yeah. that, uh, then I'm, uh, then I'm going to leave. Mm. So they gave him directing uh, yeah. on Imagine Secret Service, which I think is one of the yeah. best Bond stories and yeah, it is. Uh, it, uh, uh, of, of, of any of them really. Yeah. You know, all the sequences of ski se sequences and, 
you know. And I think George, give him credit, he was... I didn't like when they dubbed his voice, George Baker, you know. Yeah. Like, that was so obvious, you know, obviously dubbed, it you was. know. That was a bit yes. naff, you know. Yeah. They should have let him get at least... Because no one would have known... Yeah. It really that his voice was like yeah he like that like like George Baker's no one would have known there was no reference point in, you know so he was on the phone to him you know <clears throat> and he should have really given him the um, mm, yeah. I, w I wish they reintroduced his voice mm. for a special edition you know yeah but I saw a Majesty's Secret Service my daddy took me to see that when I was ten the mm. first Bond I saw was was I think Goldeneye mm. oh, sorry <laughs> Goldeneye Goldfinger, Goldfinger no Goldfinger yeah in my head you know yeah. but. Uh, but I love Bond movies, and uh, I'm really good friends with Terence Mountain, who played Raphael. Yeah, uh, we're really, he's like a godfather to me. He's wonderful, and, and I know a few others, you know, like El Cameron. And uh, mm. but Terence is he's like a surrogate dad to me, you know. Uh, and so uh, I love like him very much, you know. That, that Bond also creates <coughs> friendships. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It really does. I mean, uh, you know, with Terry Madden and Terry Bamba, I know them. You know, obviously on Facebook and media, <coughs> and obviously Terry Mountain. Yeah. Meeting him in 2006, and I've been friends ever since. Yeah. And uh, you do, is there's always this connection with Bond. Yeah. There's always this kind of, like, this ether, this kind of tangible feeling between, yes. yeah. between people, you know. And even mm. when I bumped into Barbara when, years ago at Kew Gardens, mm. not Kew Gardens, but Kew Gardens, <laughs> and I bumped in with her and her daughter, the yeah. daughter at the time. Yeah. And I, I could have said, oh, Barbara, can you get me in the next film? I never thought about any of that stuff then, you know. Yeah. And uh, I did try, I think, on Quantum Solace to get something on it, and mm. uh, but I didn't push it enough. But maybe one of these days, you know, maybe I'll work on one of them, you know. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, yeah, because I, I think they should get rid of Daniel Craig. I'm fed up with him now. All right. I, I tell you why, and I'm quite happy to say this. I think he looks like everyone says it. He looks like um, there's a character called Norman Wisdom, who's a comedian. Yeah. And his suits are too tight, and you know, I mean, yeah, the first one was great. I loved Casino yeah, Royale. Yeah, um, that was a great movie. Yeah. But the rest I didn't. I'm sure this Spectre would be brilliant because mm. <coughs> it has to be. Yeah. But I just think he's gone a bit too. You know, you need to have Bond with a bit of humour. Mm. You know, Sean had that. You know, uh, you know, you got the point. You know, those kind of little lines yeah. he did and shocking. You know. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. And and uh, um, my name's Plenty O too. Yes, I'm sure you are. You know. <laughs> yeah, Plenty. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Things that wouldn't work today. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. If All you the, deliver a line the like sexual that things, today, yeah, innuendo, you yes, know. The, yeah. Women go. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I have become friends. I was friends quite a bit with Alana Wood, who played yeah. Plenty, and Britt Eklund. I met her a few times. She's really nice. Uh, mm. She flirted with me actually at a convention. Ah. Believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. Because I told her about my my dad and had an affair with uh, with Elke Sommer, who was a German actress yeah. who. Yeah. And he, she says, uh, she, I said, uh, and she was coming up to my table, she was looking up and down. I said, my dad, you know, knew your friend of yours. You know, she said, yeah. really? Was he married? I said, no. He was a naughty boy then. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I, was, I was saying all these people in the old camera, and I was kind of friends with him. He's not very well at the moment, I think. But, yeah, but, yeah you kind of have these connections with Bob. And Tom, you know, Mr. Wheatley, Thomas Wheatley. Mm. Funny enough, it's really bizarre that when I, was fil when I filmed that scene I was, I was in, I didn't know that Thomas Wheatley, who I met in a coffee bar in, in Soho, we yeah. chat started chatting with each other. I didn't know who he was. And that, he's the player who plays Saunders, yeah. and he's in the same film. But we obviously were filming in the same time, but we didn't okay. know, you know. Yeah. Because that's how films are done. You don't realise who you're working with yeah, at course, the time, yeah. you know. Yeah, of course, sure. But um, Sean Connor I've worked with about three or four times. I know his son, Jason, pretty mm. well. I haven't seen him for many years. <clears throat> and uh, going, diversifying a bit, I'll just tell a funny story. When we were on uh, Indiana Jones' The Last Crusade, Michael Jackson came on set. Oh, really? He came on set and met everyone, and he came up to me, and I'm here, and Sean Connery was beside me. Yeah. And he goes up and he says, uh, he says, hi, I'm Michael, you know, and I had Jordan with him at the time, you know. Yeah. I said, how oh, nice to meet you, and he went up to Sean, and he says, hi, I'm Michael. He says, oh, I'm sure you are, and, and just walked away. <laughs> totally blanked him, really, seriously. Uh, but it's funny, when you see um, Sean, you think he's like a macho or stuff, he's not, he's quiet. Yeah. When he was having the, one of the... Um, uh, things fitted, you know, the, the explosions, they call them a, yeah. a spi uh, s yeah. squib, they yeah. call it a squib. Right, okay. And he, he was getting really worried about if they're going to do it. And I thought, God, I, I thought he was kind of yeah. tough on it. But, yeah, but yeah, he obviously yeah. was worried about because sometimes people get killed with this stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I was thinking, well, he's not as much as I thought he was, you know. Yeah. And, um, but, uh, yeah, him and, I say my favourite Bonds, I would say, is Pierce. I like Pierce, I like Sean very much. And Daniel, the first one's okay. And Timothy, Timothy was great, you know. Uh, he was absolutely, <coughs> he was absolutely brilliant. Mm. 
It's five o'clock. Yeah, that's it's our, five o'clock. That's our sign. Yes. You told me you said we have to leave. Uh, where am I going? In the middle. <coughs> yeah. Come here. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh. Oh, one, two. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. <laughs> Don't go so low. <laughs> You'd be on the floor. Go, do it, Jason. <laughs> Stand up. That's it. Just like that, like, yeah, normal yeah. height. That's it. Yes, yeah, better. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Where are you from? Oh, China. Oh, thank you. Uh, Bu Ji Dao. Bu Ji Dao. Le Ho Ma. Le Ho Ma. Le Ho Ma. Ho. Ho Ho. Le Ho Ma. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank Have a look, sweetheart. Okay, have a look. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Have a Thank safe you. journey when you yeah. go back. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Nice to meet Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.